Boston Police Department temporarily suspended the motors and DWI units to move them to patrol. This is due to budget cuts and a staffing shortage. KVU's Darenisha Heron is live from APD headquarters downtown tonight. Darenisha, how long will these departments be suspended? Hi, Jake. Yeah, according to an APD spokesperson, a timeline has not been set for those units to return yet. It all depends on staffing levels. Early, earlier today, I spoke with the head of Austin Police Union, who said it won't be a quick fix. Starting today, you may not see as many officers on the highway. The spokesperson for APD said their DWI and motors units are temporarily suspended. They're moving 69 officers to patrol units. The head of the police union, Ken Cassidy, said the city will fill the changes. We no longer have officers inspecting large vehicles like 18 wheelers. We no longer have officers running radar in the school zone and on the highways. And we no longer have a DWI unit with officers out enforcing DWI laws. In June, an APD spokesperson said 33 additional officers were moved to patrol as well. This is in response to budget cuts and an officer shortage due to retirements, resignations, and the lack of new cadet classes. Now you're going to have 45, 55, and 60-year-old officers being sent back to patrol to the answer of 911 calls. and and. Uh, it's probably not the best for their health, and I can tell you it's probably not the best for citizens either. Cassidy said the department is about 160 officers short. The first cadet class in over a year started in June. About 70 to 80 officers from this class are expected to start patrol in May. APD also received funding for two more reimagined cadet classes next year. But Cassidy said they've been losing about 15 officers a month, so that won't be enough to fill the vacancies. He said the city will have to start providing bigger incentives to get officers in Austin. And it's also going to be a very, very competitive market. You know, we're going to be trying to hire between two and 300 officers possibly next year. Well, so is Dallas, so is Houston, so is San Antonio and other big cities around this country. Ken Cassidy is also asking the city for a fourth cadet class to help fill those vacancies. And APD said they want to remind everyone that the city's safety is still their top priority. And Darnisha, okay. this is all happening as APD is narrowing down their search for a police chief. Where do things stand on that? Well, Jake, just last week, City Manager Spencer Cronk announced that they narrowed down the candidates for Austin's next police chief to seven candidates. And we're expecting to hear an update on that by the end of this month. Darnisha Heron reporting for us tonight live downtown. Darnisha, thank you.